Hey guys, it's me Nathan and welcome back to Let's Play Subnautica. Right. We are finally going to see the Sea Emperor again. As I promised on the next episode, on this episode I will be going down to see the Sea Emperor again. And that is what's happening. So, we're doing it. We've got everything upgraded. It can go as deep as it can. So, let's do it. Might not have any power left in the base, but oh well. I'll be making nuclear, a nuclear reactor when I, after seeing the Emperor. Hold on, Fred. Come here, Fred. Fred. Who's a good boy? Oh. Right, up here we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Thank you. I've got Engine power cells in here anyway. Up. And down we go. Right, let's go back down to the lava zone. I wonder if Mr. Sea Dragon's gonna be down here this time. Gotta be careful of that. Down here. We can do this. Well, that's a new noise. Oh, seriously. I already know who it is. Crab squid. You stay there! So I'm coming closer! Oh, that's it! Ah. ah, so you better chicken away. Oh, there's a wall, but here's the Lost River. Quick, 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 let's get there! Don't go down too fast, otherwise, that will happen. Hi, Warper. How you doing? You can't get me from inside here, can't you? Haha. <laughs> and you won't be able to get you won't get me at all soon. As soon as I get healed. All right, we're at the Lost River. As soon as I activate all these teleporters down here. I'm taking this right back up to the top. Because I'm not having this get destroyed again. No way. Oh. Oh, I just realized. Rig for Cylon running. A head slow. To him. I must not let you hear me. Sneaking, sneaky, 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 sneaky. Oh, look how sneaky I'm being. And go. We made it. Damn, we got 58% power left. I'm pretty sure I've got power cells underneath. I've run out. Oh, 
I really like how the uh, mist covers up the the, the hub, the HUD on the Cyclops. I really do like that touch. It's a really nice touch. No, that's it. Keep going down. Down we go. Where's this dead sea dragon? Probably this bit. Yeah, there he is. I'm gonna go this way again. Just by the fact it is quicker to get to the, the sea. The lost river. Not lost river. To the lava zone this way. There's just one person I've got. To, well, one person. One creature I have to worry about. The other ghost of fireman. And obviously by the amount of uh, leeches that's down there. I should really scan them because I don't know what they are really. I know there's some kind of leeches, but who like to drink energy. Strobes! I will blind all my enemies. One thousand seven hundred meters deep. That's deep. <laughs> I'm still surprised it can actually go that deep, but it cannot cannot go any more deeper than that. Okay, here we go. Here's the entrance. The, the ghost of five and garden it. Of course he is. A head slow. Rig for silent running. Okay. Just behave, ghost of five. Behave. Not here at all. This isn't me. Oh, uh, you see me. Uh oh. Prepare for impact. Maybe not. Okay, we've made it. With zero damage. The head standard. Oh. I was going into lava then. Alright, let's see if we can find this missing sea dragon all of a sudden. Oh. And you, get away. Oh, I had no, do need no lights down here. Lava lights up the way. Yes, yes, eat them. Eat them to your heart consent, content. Oh, there's the beautiful roar I've been looking for this whole time. Oh, hello, you're right there. Hi. Oh, ha ha. You're a beauty. The head standard. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We need to find that entrance now. I will never hear from him again. Gotta keep an eye on my radar. Just in case one one comes around the corner and tries to eat it, eat me.
Okay. Alright, where was the entrance again? We'll get there, guys. We'll get there. Oh, yes, I just remember there's two sea dragons flight swimming around here, isn't it? Well, that's their dinner right there. Turns out they eat them. Hence, probably why they've gone swim. Probably why they swam close to the surface, because it's safer for them instead of living down here. Because they have no chance against these dra sea dragons. At least I think they eat them anyway. I saw, I saw somewhere that the sea dragon that's the sea that's the sea dragon's food. Or favourite meal or what's whatsoever. Right, where's this opening? Heard him. Heard the sea dragon. Everything can stop crashing into me now. Okay. I can hear him, but I can't see him. Where is he? Ooh, is that it? Is that the opening I'm looking for? Oh, there he is! Yeah, that's the opening right there. Oh, hi. Engine powering down. Oh, that's so cool. And go. Go, 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 go. This is your last chat today. Go! Uh oh. He's gaining on me. Just need to go down. Oh, he's angry. Let's get down here. Let's get down here. Some damage. I think he would have followed me regardless, so we have repair tool kits there. Today, Sea Dragon. But right, I'm gonna go under here a bit more. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Right, we're here. I just need to fix a few things first. Where is he? Right, the damage is up here. See, I'm tempted just to leave this here. Maybe not, because he likes to hit it. Right, this other sea dragon isn't too far away. I can hear him, so... I'll get you off in a bit. I 
I just need to find it a spot for now where it will not get destroyed. There's the main facility. Oh yeah, I definitely wouldn't have been able to come down without this upgrade. But where's the other sea dragon? There's another one down here somewhere. Oh, hello. I am what you seek. Want to help you. Yes, I know you do, but uh, you're kind of not helping me at the moment because I can't. Yeah, that's okay. Because I can't hear where the sea dragon is. And I know. Oh, he's in the walls. He's in the walls. Did, am I the only one who just saw that? But I'm going to park it by here. Hopefully you stay safe by here. Engine powering down. I'm not the only one who saw that, right? He was in the wall. Oh, wow. It's, it's hot for me in here. It's not safe for me to swim here. But where are they attaching themselves to now? Oh, they're going all over the place. Here we go, that's one. That's two. That's three. Stop it! Get off there. Some water there. Right, this side. There's one there. And there's one more somewhere. I did say it was one more. Right underneath here somewhere. Apparently, but I can't see him. Ah, oh, he's glitched inside the sh the, the side clops, haven't he? I'm getting hurt, but I'm not getting hurt badly. Let me guess, he's glitched inside. I can't see him. No, I can't see him. Wait, where's my water? Vital signs stabilizing. Here we go. Right, let's go. Wow, it's like 70 degrees down here. Wow, wow, this is kind of like a lava pit. Here we go. Oh, what one do I need? Oh, there's the blue tablet, okay. And we're back in here, look, guys. We're officially back to where we was. Oh, as soon as we cure ourselves, that is. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor A, fetching project terminated. 
Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Oh. Just, just, uh, do all this, get all this. Because I have now got an unlimited supply of ion cubes. Yeah. Oh, hello. I wonder what I need for this again. It's another blue tablet. What do I need to make a blue tablet? Ion cube and kyanite. That's kind of like just outside, so I can make that inside. Wait, have I even got a fabricator inside the Cyclops? That's right, my pretty. Just keep making ion cubes for me. Enzyme forty two project data. PDA data. An indigenous Leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme forty two, which inhibited the symptoms of the Kara bacterial infection. In other Indian indigenous organisms, the specimen was captured and contained in this in a purpose built. Can I help you? Just okay. As I was carrying on, the specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the import of inter interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the en enzyme into the vaccine had been unsuccessful. Until I hear, until I'm here. Oh. Horsey Emperor. Look how much young she just had to lose for this. I bet she's kind of glad that they've gone. In a way. Because they can stop bullying her young now, I suppose. I swear I, I, swear I do have a uh, fabricator inside my Cyclops. Right, let's go get it. Ah, oh, there's one there. All I need is one bunch. There we go. Did you go in? <coughs> no, it did not. Where's it go? Where's it going? It's just disappearing. Oh, there we go. That's all I need. But the sea dragon's stuck in that wall somewhere. Whether he'll stay stuck in there, I don't know. That's what I thought. 
All right, how about two other fabricates are in here now? Yes, I do. All systems online. Ah, I need to get the uh, ion cube and that kind of items. There we go. Okay. Let's go and visit our, our emperor again, shall we? She's been stuck in there for an awful long time. I will t I will take more of you. Two. And three. Put this in. Now, let's go say hi to our old friend, Sea Emperor. Okay, this is new. That's new words coming from you. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Because of her. It's because of the sea emperor. Oh, look, it's peepers. Look how you gloriously swim around. And obviously how huge you are. I, I still can't get over how huge she is. She's gigantic. I think she is definitely the biggest creature in the game. Oh, hello. What's that? The plant life in this area is growing outside its normal conditions. Other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. Ah, that's why she's getting ill. It's because it's not exactly natural. They try making it natural, but obviously it's not. I may as well get this one going out, ready for the way out, haven't we? Here we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, hello. There we go, just replaced it. <laughs> Look at that current there. At least I think that's a current. What happens if I go in that current? Do I swim the path of the Emperor? Oh, it's gone now. Oh, hello. Oh, you are huge. Oh, that is really pretty. 
Oh, that's a bit different for you, isn't it? Not trying to kill me for a change. But before I get to your eggs, there is something under your grounds that I must have in order to help hatch your eggs. Where is that cave system? I don't know where that cave system is. Ah, there it is. Ah, you're lagging so much. Down here. These, I think I'm looking for. Sea crowns, yep, that's what I was looking for. Hold on. Is that the other one I need? God, that's Gabe's feather. I wonder if there's like any secret thing in this cave system actually. Like the main core survey. Let's actually explore this cave system. It does, it goes deeper. Who's an ion cube? What is down here? Or is this just going to be another way up now? No, it's just another way up. Okay. There's nothing. Oh, hello. There's nothing important down there. Right, where's your eggs, my lovely? Let's have a look at these precious eggs, shall we? After you stop lagging. But here we are. And now you set yourself down over there. You gonna speak to me? No. You were after I put this in. My yarn need to hatch. To play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with rare plankton like life forms, which depends on the organic. Environment scans oh. indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Okay, hello. There you go. Okay, hold on. Wait there, wait there. There we go. This is what you're after. I'm more than happy to give it to you. There you go. With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. 
Ah, oh, thank you. I will make sure your young hat's healthy. See Emperor's life cycle. Okay, I've never I haven't seen this before. There's no evidence to spot. Oh! Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the sea emperor's natural life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the high volumes of microorganisms in the shallower waters. Family size would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once in a lifetime event. The, spe the species likely had a preferred environment for egg laying. In fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this effect, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have had catastrophic effects on the Emperor's food supply and survival rate. The symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection. These, those life forms which learned to keep the emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean in a rough perimeter around the emperor's location. Alright. QB Q incubator. The Empress specimen's eggs are attached to some form of incubator. In a normal life cycle, it seems likely that the Sea Emperor would have buried their eggs in a shallower waters where different organic materials in the soil would have triggered a hatching response. The incubator suggests that the alien had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes which would stimulate the egg's natural hatching environment but were unable to discover the formula. With extensive information on the sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using indigenous ingredients. However, the only surviving source of that information may be the sea emperor itself. And I've already got it. Right, I'm gonna leave that episode here, guys. I'm not gonna let you suffer through watching well, I'm going to let you see them hatch again, but getting the egg hatching enzymes, I won't make you suffer through that again. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Nathan playing Subnautica. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!